Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to root your Nexus 6P on, on a Mac here. So I'm running the latest MTC 19T build and this will work with pretty much any build and perhaps some changes until Android N. So this should work until pretty much Android N is released and I'll update these videos I guess. So first off you want to head over to the about phone screen to enable developer options. So all you need to do is tap on the build number about seven times and it'll say you'll become a developer. Next up you want to go to developer options here and also and make sure that OEM unlocking is enabled just like that. So now that we've done that all you need to do is head over to your computer here and you'll need to go to these links down below. First off we're gonna to have to set up the Android tools um, this is so we can use fastboot to flash the required images and unlock the bootloader and such like that things like that so all you need to do is head over to this, the first link here click on download options near the bottom let's get rid of that, download options there and we want the scroll down, just the command line tools here and we want to uh, click on the Mac OS X uh, command line tools here for the Android SDK So this will download, just, um, I have this uh, Android folder on the desktop. I'm just going to save everything over there. So next up we also want to download the latest version of TWRP. In this case it's 3.0.2-0. Click on that and click on the latest version of TWRP and then click on this big download uh, TWRP image. I already have that. So And the last thing you want is SuperSU, the latest one. So now we have SuperSU 2.74 dash 2. Now we'll download this as well and we'll save it in the same folder as everything else. So all you have to do is wait for those downloads to finish and I'll be back. Also you may want to download the Android file transfer app because macOS does not natively support MTP, the MTP transfer protocol. So you're going to want to probably use something like that or use an existing service like AirDrop not AirDrop, AirDroid or uh, ADB push it to your device but we'll just go through this graphical interface method so if you have Android file transfer that's great but just keep in mind you will have to copy a zip or at least sideload it um, via recovery but we'll do it that way anyway so our SDK is almost finished uh, downloading and once it has finished downloading go ahead and I guess open up the folder we don't need the Chrome window anymore we can close that and all we need to do is extract the SDK it should be done pretty quick go into that folder, go into I believe it's tools and then just run Android you can hit open you probably also need to make sure that um, you can run applications from unknown developers okay so we're just going to wait while this updates its package list and do you want to wait for this to finish of course okay so you can see a lot of things are checked here that we don't actually want or need Hit, click the deselect all button and then just check Android SDK platform tools and you want to install that one package select the license here accept the license and hit install. Now this will download the platform tools for us and and it looks like we're done. I mean whoops, we're not done yet. Now we're done. Once that's done you can close the SDK manager. You can close the terminal. You can also quit terminal but it doesn't really matter. We'll go back one folder and you can see our platform tools folder is here. So to make things easier we're going to uh, copy these the ADB and fastboot executables or essentially just the fastboot one because that's all we'll be needing so just copy the fastboot executable and copy it back into your Android folder just so it looks like that and that is what we want to do for now so next step is to unlock the bootloader for that you'll need the USB cable and you also need your phone so with your phone just uh, hold the power button to power it off you want to turn off your phone first 
And then what you want to do is hold um, the power and volume down buttons here to get into the bootloader. Now once you're in the bootloader, just plug in your the USB cable from your phone into your computer. And once it's plugged in, we need to open up a new terminal window here. Whoops. We're going to want to open up a terminal window here. So open up terminal and we want to change the directory to our Android folder. Now, if you don't know how to do this, um, if you put it on the desktop it's quite easy. All you have to do is do, um, or in your home folder, so you've got to change directory to where the Android or the fastboot executable is essentially. So this is on my desktop and then folder Android. So now that you're in that folder, I'm not sure if you can just open in terminal or something like that. Um, not too handy in this. So once you've actually changed the directory to the terminal of the terminal window to that Android directory, we can use fastboot. So let's test it out and see if we can it can see our fastboot a device in fastboot. So you want to type dots forward slash fastboot devices. You can see the, our serial number pops up here and that means our phone, I mean not our phone. Oh uh, yes, our phone is connected. So the next step we want to do is unlock the bootloader. Now keep in mind this will uh, erase all data. So you make sure you backed up everything. And what we need to do is type in fastboot flashing unlock. Just like that. And you want to head over, go back to your phone and press the power button to accept the, the unlock bootloader prompt. Now that will unlock the bootloader, factory reset your phone and you're going to wait for it to boot up all the way. So we're going to hit start as we need to copy things to our phone as well. So we'll wait for our phone to boot up and you're going to have to go through the setup wizard again. So if you don't want to flash a custom ROM or you just want it rooted, you can fully complete the setup wizard here. But if you're keen on flashing a ROM then you probably won't need to enter all your details and add a Google account to it. So I'll be back when the phone finishes booting up and we'll get to the screen and then we'll stop, we'll flash TWRP and then root the phone afterwards. Okay, so our phone has booted back up and you may need to reconnect the USB cable for it to be detected by the computer again. And here we can set USB for charging to USB for file transfers. And that might bring up, and then once that's done, we'll have to open up the Android file transfers app here. There it is. We're going to open that and hopefully it detects our device. Open. Okay, so it has worked. And yeah, get started, okay. So what you need to do is copy this the SuperSU file uh, to your phone. Just copy it there. And once you've done that, you can turn off your device again and we'll get started on the rooting process. So what you need to do is hold the power button, power off, like so. Once it's off, you want to hold the... hold on. So once your device is off, you want to hold the power and volume down buttons again to get back into the bootloader. So just hold those and you should get into the bootloader. Once you're in, plug back in the USB. I'm going to go back to that terminal window that we had open previously. And what we need to do here is type in dot forward slash fastboot flash recovery and drag in our TWRP image onto the command prompt window. Like so. We're going to hit enter. And once that's done, go back to our phone. You're going to go down once or go down until you see recovery mode. Press the power button to select it. And we'll flash the Super SU zip once we're in. Keep in mind you may need to decrypt your data partition, and this is simply your lock screen passcode or pattern, and you just insert that and it should decrypt your data. Now system modifications, since we're using a system-based root, this is irrelevant to us. But if you are keeping wanting to leave your system intact for OTAs and things like that, you might want to keep read-only. But we're going to swipe to allow notifications for this one. We're going to go install. We're going to find that Super SU beta zip. We're going to swipe to confirm flash. This will take a minute or two. And once this is done, we can just restart and our phone will be rooted. Now keep in mind, after this is done, uh, your phone might go through a little bit of some of those 
boot loops or some crashes and so the first reboot might take a while so we're going to reboot the system now and pretty much all you have to do is wait for your phone to turn back on and we'll be good to go so I'll be back when this is all finished booting up okay so as you can see our phone is booted up we're going to unlock it and we should be able to find SuperSU so there we go folks we've rooted our Nexus 6P on a Mac here on the MTC 19T firmware so if this helped you out feel free to leave a like down below and a comment if you'd like to see different videos or have any requests or if you have any problems as well so thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you in the next one